can't thank you enough for the friendship and the support that you have given us over this last year since the 2013 floods. Uh, we were hit pretty hard and um, recovery wouldn't have been possible without uh, your support. Uh, I guess get ourselves back in a place where we could actually open as of June. Uh, many of you joined us last summer, which was a, a great blessing to see you and to have your, your encouraging words. Um, we uh, had to think a lot about how we were going to go forward. I don't think there was ever real a real question of whether we, were, whether we were going to go forward, although maybe a pause <laughs> at some point along the way. So the real question in our mind was, since this was really a rebuilding project as opposed to a cleanup project, which was in 1976, that flood was a cleanup project. This flood is a rebuilding project. And at our young age, we realized that we were building for the future, beyond our lifetime. And uh, so we um, gave that serious thought and realized from all of your uh, letters and calls and uh, many people here in our community as well, that uh, this was a legacy worth saving. Um, we have come up with a way to do that, and we want to share that with you. Uh, we have incorporated a not-for-profit to partner with us going into the future. And the name of that not-for-profit is the Heart J, so we kept our brand, the Heart J Center for Experiential Learning. That is a very broad statement, experiential learning, but uh, um, it uh, will focus everything we've done in the past regarding our Western lifestyle and sharing horses and cattle and, and uh, cowboy music and cowboy logic, and all of that, plus expanding the learning opportunities into other areas, um, uh, science and art, and, uh, all the all the opportunities that are here in our 3,200 acres to learn. This is for people of all ages, and uh, we have a pretty good start on that. Uh, you remember our dad always used to say, well, we're a nonprofit. We didn't want to be, but that's the way it's turned out. So uh, <laughs> now, we're making, now we're making it official, I guess you'd say. So, uh, so we're, uh, we're very hopeful. And uh, I know a lot of you want to be a part of it. I mean, the one, the one thing that we're absolutely certain of is that we want this ranch to continue to be a place where people like you and families like you can come and experience all the kinds of things that you've experienced before. And uh, we're not getting any younger, so we're looking for a way to uh, extend that experience into the future and to keep this ar ranch around for future generations and our hope is that the Hart J Center will become uh, strong enough and well funded enough that it can take over and own uh, at least parts of the buildings and grounds here at the ranch and be able to continue this long into the future. Uh, we've been amazed since the flood at how much people of the community and people around the country have wanted to support and help the recovery of the ranch. It's just been mind-boggling. And we realize that this is not just a private dude ranch. This has turned into a kind of a community institution. And the community has been so generous in trying to keep us going that we see the Heart J Center as a way to give back to the community in the future and will hopefully, if it's successful, extend this uh, way into the future long after we're gone. That's our hope and we want to offer this opportunity for you to be a part of that. And the way you can be a part of that is uh, making some contributions. We have to raise an endowment. We have to raise some uh, capital building funds and the Heart J Center is the way 
for you all to become a part of this future, which we so much treasure and want to continue. Right? Right on. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much again for your support in the past and your support in the future. And uh, our family, including our horse family over here, this is uh, Spirit and her little foal, Hope, uh, that was born here last spring. Uh, our family, our horses, our cattle, our staff, uh, we all extend to you uh, our very warmest wishes for the upcoming holiday season.